Hi everyone. We're going to be reviewing the handout Weak Thesis Statements, Recognizing and Fixing Them. This handout reviews different types of thesis statements that are problematic and possible solutions. So let's look at the first one. A thesis statement that makes no claim. I have an example here. I'm going to talk about my KFC cravings. Now true, we are introducing a subject to talk about. So what's the problem? Let's look at the comment here. These examples name a subject and link it to the intention to write about it, but they don't make any claim about that subject. There is, in short, nothing at stake, no issue to be resolved. Now we need to remember to, that to have an effective thesis statement, it needs to be both specific and arguable. So we need to, re, to raise specific arguable issues to, to talk about in our essays. So here's a possible solution. Colonel Sanders puts an addictive chemical in his chicken that makes consumers crave it. Is this statement specific? Yes, it is. Is it arguable? Yes, it is. So this will work. Number two is thesis statement that is obviously true or a statement of fact. The example here is cigarette smoking is bad for your health. Well, that's true. What's the problem with this one? The comment says, if few people would disagree with the claim that a thesis makes, there's no point in writing an analytical paper about it. This is an already established fact, so there's really no use analyzing it. The further comments say that we need to find some avenue of inquiry, a question about the facts or an issue raised by them. Make an assertion with which it would be possible for readers to disagree. So possible solution. Though smoking is bad for your health, puffing on cigarettes makes people look attractive. Would some readers disagree with that statement? Yes. Some people feel that smoking makes you look cool, but you could definitely find two sides to that argument. Weak thesis statement number three is a thesis that restates conventional wisdom. Here's an example. Never take someone you love for granted. Now what's the problem with conventional wisdom? says, these examples say nothing worth proving because they're cliches. Conventional wisdom is a polite term for cliches. Most cliches were fresh ideas once, but over time they've become trite, prefabricated forms of non-thinking. There's some truth in the problem example above, but doesn't complicate its position. So we need to complicate the position. Um, here is a possible solution. Actively appreciating your loved ones is a known cure for clinical depression. Again, we've made that statement specific and arguable. We've brought up a, something that we could talk about both sides. Number four, the thesis offers personal conviction as the basis for the claim. So here's an example. The punk rock group Minor Threat writes songs that are meaningful to me because I can identify with them. So here is a statement that is expressing more of a personal opinion or conviction. The comment says, like conventional wisdom, personal likes and dislikes can lead inexperienced writers into knee-jerk reactions of approval or disapproval, often expressed in a moralistic tone. So you can see that by getting into personal conviction, it's going to take the analytical portion out of the essay, right? The writers of the problem example above assume that their primary job is to judge their subject or testify to its worth, not evaluate it analytically. So the solution says, try on other points of view honestly and dispassionately. Treat your ideas as hypotheses to be tested rather than obvious truths. So here was a possible solution thesis for that instead. The melancholy lyrics written by the punk rock group Minor Threat are a leading cause of teen suicide in the United States. Again, we've made an arguable specific statement that is more essay worthy. Lastly, and this is some, a problem that many people have, is making an overly broad claim. Now, usually in college writing, you're writing a four or five page paper, sometimes longer. But you want to make sure that you're able to cover effectively your information in that span of pages that you have to work with. 
So say we say Greece is a wonderful place to visit. There is so There are so many places in Greece to visit that we couldn't comprehensively cover all of them in a few pages. We would want to narrow our claim down and make it more specific and arguable again to be effective. So the comment says that overly generalized theses avoid complexity. At their worst, as in the examples above, they settle for assertions broad enough to fit almost any subject and thus say nothing in particular about the subject at hand. And we do, we want to make a point, we want to say something particular. So here is a possible solution. It says convert broad categories and generic claims to more specific assertions. Find ways to bring out the complexity of your subject. And here's the sentence, because of its symbolic nature, the Parthenon Temple in Acropolis is the most important Greek landmark to visit. Here we're narrowing down our subject and we're making a claim about it being the most important landmark to visit. So again, we have an arguable statement that is easy to cover in the span of pages that we have. So as you are, you, as you are creating your thesis statements for your essays this semester, Remember these five problematic areas and make sure that you're not falling into any of these traps, that you can complicate your position, raise specific arguable issues that are going to make for interesting essays. Make sure to ask me any questions if you have them, and I will see you soon. Thanks.